as part of efforts to improve legislative drafting in the Nigerian Parliament, the Association of Legislative Drafters and Advocacy Practitioners has inducted and awarded fellowship to some members and public presentation of books at the National Assembly Complex in Abuja, Nigerian's capital city. Speaker of the Nigerian House of Representatives, Femi Gwajabi Amila, who was represented by the clerk of the House of Representatives, Yahaya Danzaria, while inducting the new members, congratulated the association for its registration to become a corporate and registered entity in Nigeria. He also admonished the members of the association to be patient, especially when carrying out their activities within the National Assembly complex. We now have 239 members, lawyers, from all over the country. Please join me as we induct the Honorable Clerk to the House of Representatives, Dr. Yahya Danzari. We started this sojourn together. Halfway we left him. Today, through MBA, Corporate Affairs Commission, Aldrab is a reality. <laughs> the more reason why I took out time to provide an office for him or for the uh, uh, association for Aldrab in the National Assembly here. So, secondly, <laughs> What you see in Dr. Jaja is not just a lecturer, a legal drafter, or a doctor, or a, um, a professor, visiting professor. He's an, uh, a, a, he exemplifies diligence, patience, and parsimony. <laughs> He's a very patient person. We started this work together, everybody left him, but today he has made it a reality. We thank God and we thank him for his efforts. Talking about uh, patience, I always say, let us not be in a hurry to achieve things today when we can achieve them tomorrow successfully. Let us not kick our shoes and follow them because we are in a hurry. Let us not use a sledgehammer to break open an egg, or use a double barrel gun to kill a housefly. Secretary of the Association, Tony Jaja, and book reviewer, David Eifer said, the association is an avenue for further training, even as a legal practitioner who is involved in legislative drafting. Not just because you're a lawyer, you get into drafting. After your legal training at the law school, there is a need for further training. So we formed an association called Association of Legislative Drafting and Advocacy Practitioners. That was in 2017. Maybe I'll give you some comparative historical background. In Canada in the year 2003, Canada passed a law called Legislative Negligence Act, 2003. Now, the law says in Canada, if you work with the parliament, legislature, especially if you're a drafter, and you draft a bill that results in litigation, that is something you drafted was not, you didn't do a good job. It goes to court the Canada Parliament will deduct your salary until that litigation is ex extinguished. The, it's called Legislative Negligence Act. What it means is, if you are a drafter, if you're a lawyer with the Canada Canadian Parliament, and you draft any law that results in litigation, in problem, it is your salary that they will use to pay for that litigation. This is a law in 2003 in Canada. I don't want to take you around the world. Every jurisdiction makes sure that it is only professionals that are engaged in drafting. As a result of the passion, 
to see an end to procedural challenges which confront the sustenance of accountability and transparency. I went into exploring how the Public Account Committee, as an important body in the National Assembly, will continuously improve their performance because of the essential role they play in, you know, in our nation, in a stretching democracy and good governance. The outcome of my findings is therefore, as a result, compiled in this book, Manual on Legal Procedure for Implementation of the Resolution of the Public Account Committee of the National Assembly. Association of Legislative Drafting and Advocacy Practitioners was conceived in Nigeria at the inception of democracy. Mm -hmm.